Hey guys, welcome back to Glam by AJ. So here we are with another video. Today I am doing my own nail, so it's a little bit different. Just gonna do a bright hot pink kind of marble design. Uh, so I'm starting off with pushing my cuticles back with the Navy Pro Tools in Ethel. Uh, as you can see, I'm just removing all the dead skin. There was quite a lot as this was a soak off, so I feel like you get more build up once you soak your nails off. And then we go into going around the cuticles with my cuticle drill bit from Glitter Planet. This just removes all the little bits that I've scraped up with my cuticle pusher. So just removing those all off the nail bed for a nice clean surface. Then, as always, we're using the Helen cuticle clippers from Navy Pro Tools. I've had the cuticle clippers and the cuticle pushes since last July, and they're both still so sharp. I couldn't recommend these tools enough. They are definitely an investment into your kit, and I absolutely love them. So yeah, just removing all the cuticles from off each nail. Uh, I'm picking up my hand file, I'm just etching over the surface, sometimes I do use my drill bit, the sanding band, but I went with the hand file today, just going around the edge, going down the little side walls, getting in, pulling those cuticles back and just getting all around as close as I can to the edge of the nail bed, just to remove all the surface shine. So I am using my tips today, these are the CJP ones, I think they're just like the standard square ones. That tip did look a little bit wonky but I can assure you it wasn't. <laughs> so just sizing them up with my nail and gluing them on. I do just hold it for a few seconds to make sure it sticks because for some reason my glue wasn't sticking very fast today. So yeah I just did this on all my nails and I am going to leave them the length that they are and the shape that they are. I don't really do much to the, the length or shape. I just kind of file it and sharpen it up a little bit with my hand. Glue. So once they're all filed and shaped, I go and remove the CJP dehydrator and just put a little bit on the nail bed and then I go in with two coats of the acid bond primer just for extra adhesion. So usually if it was a client I would apply a clear base just so in three weeks we'll do a redesign but as it's just on me I'm just going to go straight in with the design so I take quite a wet bead of coconut milk and magenta just kind of wish wash swell them together with the tip of the brush sometimes I do find this a little bit difficult on myself as I just think the angle's a bit awkward but we get there in the end
So I am doing the same with this nail roof and the marble in effect, but I, I'm adding on a tiny little silver open heart. Uh, I did see this photo on another nail artist page who I will tag. I think she was from America. But it was just too cute not to do. So now we are going to create the ombre. I have just done my first finger off camera. So we're going to place the bead on, just pat it in a little bit, tuck it in around the cuticle area and just swipe it down nice and lightly with your brush. So once we've done that and all of them, we're going to cap them in clear. So this is crystal glass from CJP. I'm going to place the bead on at the bottom, just swipe it up and bring it down a little bit. And then I place them at the top as well, around the cuticle and also bring that down the rest of the nail. Now I'm going back in with my hand foil, so I'm going down the edges, all over the surface, removing any bulk that we might have had, making sure we've got a nice apex on the side and a C curve from the end of the nail. Just going all the way over and then I do go across the free edge as well. So now once they're all filed, I just go over and buff them all and then I do apply top coat, I did do this off camera and I'll cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. So now this is once top coat's applied and cured, now I'm just putting some cuticle oil on and rubbing that in. My cuticles go so dry after a so fast but this just brings them back to life a little bit. And then we have the final result, so thank you so much for watching and I hope you all enjoyed it. Bye!